Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Welcome back to another episode of Famous Fortunes. I'm sure many of you have heard the juicy goss coming from Lady C and Mickey and Aurora, or should we say Megzi and the Spare today. <laughs> let it be known. Let it be known. Let it be known. All right. What are we going to read on? We are going to do a deep dive today. Is this goss legit? Have Megan and Harry separated. This is the question of the day, perhaps the question of the year. In fact, the question of the decade. It could very well be the question of the decade. And we're going to read on that today on Famous Fortune. So if you are new to the channel, and many of you are, I've been watching the stats. It's, I don't know what's happening. It's just, it's unbelievable how many, every time I check, there's dozens of new subscribers. So I wanted to say a big welcome to you all. My name is Lord Famous Fortune, <laughs> and, and today we are going to be covering Meghan and Harry separating. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button when we hit 10,000 subscribers. I will tell you the craziest tarot story of all time. So let that be known. That's from my personal experience, my personal collection of stories. I will, I will share that with you at 10,000 subscribers. It is a crazy story, mind you. And... Be sure to leave your impression of today's reading in the comments. Be sure to leave it because you may pick something up that no one else does. So with that said, let's get into today's reading. Question number one. Are they still living together? We're going we're gonna to have to flush this out. Are they living together? And then we're going to ask, have they split? And I have a few other questions as well. So hang in there. Hang tight. Get some tea ready. Cheers. I'm going to spill some tea. Not this tea, hopefully. So, let's have some. Let's have some tea. Let's have some tarot. It is almost time for tea and tarot on the full moon. So, if you have questions for tea and tarot, let it be known in the comments. Uh, for those of you that are new, tea and tarot is where we uh, answer your questions from the comment section. So, all you have to do is say tea and tarot and pop in a question. It could be on any topic and there's a very good chance it'll be chosen. So, with that said, let's have a look. Are Meghan and Harry still living together? Cards are hot. Meghan and Harry, are they still living together? What do you think? Do you think it's all a ploy? We're going to get to that question. The Emperor. The Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, it's getting juicy. The Eight of Cups. The Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Coins. Very interesting, the world. Oh, look at this. The Queen of Swords has spoken. Oh, boy. The Queen of Swords has spoken. Someone's left. I think that's, uh, I've jumped the gun. I've gone straight to the, oh, straight to the reading. Okay, all right. So I think someone's left. That's what I think. I'll explain why I think that. Remember, folks, there's always, there's, there's a couple of ways to read cards. You can look at the individual cards and you can read the meanings and, you know, you can just literally go to the tarot dictionary on what the meaning is, right? You can do that. But there's another way to read them is what you do is you look at all the cards that have come out as a whole because the whole is greater than the sum of its parts in terms of tarot. So with that said, I've spilled the tea very quickly on this particular reading. Someone's left. Why do I say that? Why do I say that? Because of the Eight of Cups, number one. It's in the central position in our flop, let's say, in our spread here. Someone has left. So are they living together? Answer's no. Now, Interesting information here. It looks to me that there may be some restrictions on them even being in the house together. The emperor here, you may be wondering, is this King Charles? Is this the king? Is this, who is this? The emperor is a card of structure. It is a card of the house that they're in. This is what this represents, the mansion or the house or whatever you want to call it, the chicken coop, as many say. Uh, it's, it's, re it's referring to that. Now, there are someone's left, but there is circumstances where uh, someone may return, and that is for work. You can see here with the the two eights, the eight of swords. Actually, we have three eights, eight, eight, eight. That's interesting. But the two, the, the, the cards in particular that are talking about these restrictions and for work purposes only, 
uh, the, the eight of swords and the eight of coins. So a little bit more information there than we asked for, but interesting nonetheless that we have had that come through. So uh, Lady C has been spilling some goss, all right. I'll tell you that much. I, uh, for when I listened to it earlier today, I got from it that there were two sources of the leak, two separate sources, and I get the feeling they're not known to each other necessarily, so it's two independent sources that have come to Lady C and said, hey, listen, I have some juicy goss for you. Can you imagine being in Castle Goring, is that how you say it, with Lady C, having a tea and some of the juiciest goss you could ever imagine? Can you imagine what a, what a day that would be? I just want to say that would be that would be quite something, but in any event... Let's, uh, just listening. I don't even have to talk, you know, no talking. I'll just, just listening. It's like, yeah, it's like that when you watch. It's good. Have some tea, relax. There is more information here on these cards. Uh, and then we can look to the underlying energy. Uh, it's something that uh, is unique to this, unique to the way I read anyway, is underlying energies and the world and the queen of swords means that this decision for someone to leave has been made by one person in particular. She has called the shots, arguably, since the beginning. <laughs> arguably, arguably, Harry hasn't got a word in, but <laughs> that's, jokes aside, she certainly has called the shots here in terms of Harry is to leave. So a good thing they kept up that, <laughs> good, thing, good thing they kept up the lease on Frogmore. Uh, Harry has some, somewhere to go. That's good. What can I say? Uh, what can I say? I mean, I don't know. I, don't, I, I can. I could say here maybe he's been, you know, moved on to the chicken coop. He's not allowed inside the house. I could, I could say that, but I'm not going to go there. Uh, I could say that though. Maybe he's been booted to the chicken coop. What can I say? I mean, chickens are nice. All right, fine. Not, not too bad, I suppose. Not too bad. So who knows? Maybe he's hanging around the the property somewhere. I don't know. Bit your tent near the chicken coop, I'm not sure, so let that be known. Okay, interesting. We have some good information. We have some good information. So, so far, so good for the Lady C uh, tea spilling extravaganza that we've been given. I will call it that. Uh, an extravaganza. I take it many of the viewers of this channel and would watch Lady C, I'd, I would imagine. I would imagine. Does anyone not watch Lady C? All right, so there's that. Okay, so next question. Had they separated? So they may be living separately, or Harry may be in the gym group. Had they actually separated? Let's see what we get on the cards. Now, that could be, there could be a variety, just as we saw in the first spread, there could be a variety and a diversity of answers. There could be a smorgasbord of meaning awaiting us, an ocean of meaning. We'll dive down into those oceans and grab whatever we can, corals, pearls, I don't know, the Ring of Power. No, that was a stream. All right, it wasn't an ocean. Fair enough, it was a stream where a humble hobbit found it fishing, isn't that? What a quaint story. And then was had his finger finger bitten off, is that right? <laughs> okay, anyway, let's, uh, moving on. So, why don't you doing any of that today? Uh, let's, uh, there was finger biting at some point. I can't, I can't remember if it was in the stream. All right, I think it was episode three. All right, let's have a look. Have they split? Have they split? Cards are hot. Five of wands. The emperor. Oh, I see. Emperor. The emperor energy is coming back again. What is it, you may ask? Is it King Charles? King. See, I'm in the habit of saying king now. Uh, not prince, but in any event, King Charles. What is it? Well, I'll explain. We kind of, we've already touched on it. The four of coins. The chariot. Not the chariot. Seven of Swords. Underlying energy, Queen of Cups. So from the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Cups. What's the what's the deal? So have they split? Well, they're, f they're fighting over something at the moment. They're fighting over something. So I can tell you, you know, if you've watched Lady C's episode, she goes into... I don't want to spoil anything if you want to watch it, but spoiler alert... Probably seen it anyway. I'd probably watch Lady. Probably watch Lady Z for Fame and Fortune. I don't think it's the other way around. So, 
let's, uh, spoiler alert. Anyway, so she goes, she does say that, I think from memory that there was some back and forth or they have just settled uh, their assets in some way. But what I can see on the cards that have they split, it looks to me like they're currently fighting over the house. That's what, that's what I can see. One wants to keep it. Is that right? One wants to hold on to the house. The other one wants to m sort of walk away from it. Interesting. Uh, very, very interesting. So it's about the house at the moment or the mansion or the chicken coop, whichever you, uh, whichever one you want to go or go with. They're fighting over it at the moment, big time. So I don't know. I, I can't see if this is settled on the cards, but it looks like it's still in motion. That's kind of what I see here. So interesting how that correlates with Lady C. Very much they're fighting over it. There's two cards here of fighting. Someone wants to move on though. Someone wants to keep it. Uh, or should we say, maybe it's actually more appropriate to say someone wants to keep it. Someone wants to take it from someone else. Uh, again, Queen of Cups is the underlying energy. So you can see here, not a lot of Harry to be seen on the cards. Uh, where's where is he? It's like where's it's like where's Wally? But uh, you know, twenty twenty two, not you know nineteen ninety five or whatever it came out. Uh, where is he? He's the new he's the new Wally. Where is Wally? Where is he? Interesting. All right. So, what have we learned today so far? Are they living together? Yeah, only for work. That's what I kind of see. Had they split up? Well, interesting. They're fighting it out still. So, had they split? I mean, it looks like it to me. I mean, it looks or it looks like they're at least fighting over the assets at this point. Or the the major asset here is probably the house. Someone wants to hold on to it. Someone wants to take it from someone else. It's very interesting. Megan again. Uh, Megan is the driving force here with the Queen of Cups. Not a lot of Harry to be seen. All right, all right. Next question. Next question. Moving on. Where's my gavel? I don't have one. Are they legally separated? Let's ask that question. Are they legally separated? Cards are oh, hot. What do we have? How you feel? How are you going with this reading? How are you going with this reading? Justice. Oh, now that's the card I was looking for. I should have said that, but this is the justice card speaks of legal formalities. So, okay. All right, folks. All right. I think this is it. This is the episode we've been waiting for. I know many people, almost every episode, it's like a dozen people. Can we just get it over and done with already? <laughs> Folks, it's just going to be the beginning, not the end. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that much. Uh, the shenanigans are just going to get started. The sun, justice, the six of wands, the emperor again, and the magician. Underlying energy, the two of pentacles. Oh, the, the wild card today. The wild card. I was about to say for sure. It's, it's pretty much... They're, they're still working on the house the mansion, whatever you want to call it. And maybe that's why they're putting out this stuff we're moving to. Where are they moving to? I don't know. Down the road, up the road, whatever. Whatever it was. Hope Island or... I don't know. I don't, I don't really follow these things that, that closely to know. I know. I looked it up. It was just down the road. Closer to the beach, I think. Whatever. All right. So are they legally separated? With the Justice card, I have to say it's either happened... Again, I'm, I'm reading, I'm just reading straight the, the holistic interpretation of these cards. I'm taking in everything here. It's either happened or it's in limbo. It's, a, it's, it's, it's coming. It's, 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 uh, it's, there's some details that are still being worked on here with two of pentacles. So it's one of those two things. It's, it's either it's just about to happen. They're sort of just weighing some things up. They're just sort of getting some final details 
you know, I think it's probably the house. But yeah, I think uh, I think that this is a. I definitely think this is a legal thing at this point. Let that be known. I definitely think so. Uh, wow, that means lawyers are involved with the justice card. There's going to be some agreements here. Okay, all right. So, wow. Now, it seems to me that all of the info we have had so far from Lady C seems to check out. More or less. More or less check out, you know, pretty much. Pretty much is it's spot on the money, I have to say. I have to say it's spot on the money. All of this seems to check out. There doesn't seem to be any BS here at all on the cards. It, it, it seems like it's all legit. Now, the question we haven't asked, and that was something that Lady C brought up, uh, was uh, the Machiavellian interpretation of the reason behind this. So we're going to ask broadly in a moment why they have, why this is happening. And let's, let's, we're going to attempt to capture the energies of what's happening without bias with that question. Why is this happening? Okay, that's what we want to know. Oh, is it just, you know, they just want to part ways? Or is it some type of Machiavellian deception? You know, some devil energy, right? Some devil energy in another. Some, some manipulative energy. Is there some... I couldn't quite follow the logic of what Lady C was trying to say as to why they would separate them, you know, what in terms of the book coming out and all the rest of it. I mean, I mean, what about the Oprah interview? That's what I was thinking. But hey, I mean, I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't quite follow it. So if, if those of you that have watched Lady C, could you welcome to leave your thoughts as to, you know, why, and please do, because I'm going to read all the comments. Please leave your thoughts as to why, this could be a manipulation. Just help us out a little bit. All right, so in any event, I mean, bending over backwards sounds fun, but is it really, you know, is it really necessary? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? You stand on your head for three hours, but well, is it going to change anything? All right, maybe it is. Who knows? So are they going to play poor me? But how would I help? Okay, all right. Anyway, moving on. Let's ask the question. Why? Why? What's going on? What's the real reason for all of this? What's the real motivation for the separation? Lady C. You gotta hand it to Lady C. Talk about sources. Cards are hot. Okay, you ready? Oh, we're going to have a sip of tea. Sip of tea, sip of tea. All right, we have the eight, excuse me, seven of cups. Page of wands. The magician. Three of swords. And the king of wands. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Underlying energy, the page of wands. That's okay. All right. Now, I'm going to get an episode up here because this is, what episode was this? You need to see this episode. Here it is. Episode 727 of Famous Fortunes, right? And immediately as I see these cards, this is the beauty of not editing the videos. You see me shuffle, you know, etc. You see the cards come out and then you get my first impression of the cards. My first impression of this is you need to review if again, if you've seen it, you need to review it. But if you haven't seen it and you're new to the channel, because hundreds and hundreds of you guys are, then you need to see this episode of Famous Fortunes. It's episode 727. And it, the episode was entitled, are you ready for this? Megan's New Man. And where's Harry? Right? I... I think you really need to see this episode because we asked in this episode, who is this guy that we see? And it was obvious that there was another man on the cards. And many people have seen that episode, actually. It's a very, 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 very popular episode. Um, check it out, though, because I'll tell you why you need to check it out. Because I remember that episode very vividly. And this particular card here, the King of Wands, came up in that episode. This is the card of Megan's new man. 
Okay, so she's gone from the Prince of Wands. Now, if you're new to the channel, this has been Prince Harry's calling card since the beginning. It's never it's never wavered. Okay, yeah, we saw the few, the fool a few times. But it's it's generally his calling card on the tarot has never wavered. So when the tarot wants to speak about Prince Harry, this is what we see. Prince of Wands. Uh, now, we do have a new man on the cards here. King of Wands. So, now, Lady C has speculated this is due to manipulation. Uh, Machiavellianism with the books and all the rest of it. I'm going to give you the Lord Famous Fortune's take on this. And that is that it's due to the new man. There's a new man in Megan's life. We, we accidentally stumbled upon this on the cards in episode 727 of Famous Fortunes. Megan's new man and where's Harry? Where is Harry? Well, he's not, he's not, he's not at the uh, Chateau Spare. He's not there anymore. Uh, he, uh, evidently. And it looks like this is occurring because there's a new, there's a new man in Megan's life. And that's just next level. That is next level. I didn't think we'd see this day. Uh, so who's drinking tea with me today? I'm trying not to spill it on my cards. My hands are so shaky today. It's so, so exciting. Look at that color. It's beautiful yellow. Beautiful yellow. A slightly roasted Jalgalan tea. Gynostemma pentaphylum. So I say slightly roasted. It's been roasted a little bit. I should show you some some of it, actually. Not now. In any event, uh, I'm going to say that Megan has a new man. That's that's the reason for the split. That's the real reason. It's got nothing to do with manipulate. There's no. I want to say what there isn't. Let's cover what there isn't because it's more important than what there is. Really, there's a new man on the cards. Check out episode seven two seven. What we're not seeing is manipulation. We're not seeing the devil card. Right? We're not seeing it. Now, yes, some people are going to say this is the Seven of Cups, it's of gaslighting, all the rest of it. Yeah, it's kind of... It's kind of... There probably... Look, no doubt there's gaslighting going on. It's Meghan Markle. <laughs> right? So, no doubt, of course. It just goes without... Do I even have to say that? Uh, but the Tower is saying it now. But the Tower is not saying this is to do with money. Okay, this isn't money, preservation of assets, or any, or nothing, a hardcore sort of it's like trickery, you know what I mean? Like trickery to sort of, you know, the royal... It's got nothing to do with the royals. Zero. It's got zero to do with the royals. It's got everything to do with Meghan's new man. Well, let that be known. What an absolute uh, bonfire of a reading today. This is... Uh, it just keeps getting better and better on Famous Fortunes. Cheers again to you, the viewer like friends now we see each other probably more than we see each other every day more than you know other people it's ridiculous we're getting too close all right <laughs> or are we i don't know all right so um again leave your thoughts and impressions of this reading uh in in the comments below because i always enjoy there are times i see nuggets there that i'm like oh yeah that's for sure that was a part of the reading 100 percent. i do see those nuggets uh from time to time uh and it's always interesting to read your take. So with that said, appreciate your company today and I will see you in the comment section.